Hey guys, how you doing? Hope everyone's all right, staying safe. Uh, we're out on another hike adventure today. We're up in Keswick in the Lake District today. And um, we're gonna hike up uh, Cat Bells, which is a very small mountain. In fact, I don't even think it's graded as a mountain. The weather today is due to make a bit of a turn for the worst as we get into the afternoon. Some thundery downpours. But yeah, we're currently just started climbing. As you can tell, I'm out of breath already. <laughs> Not even done much today, but it's very warm today. Um, still quite one of the hottest times of the year in, in the UK, but currently stood here. We've got Keswick over there. Skidor, that's Skidor in the distance. This is Derwent Water. That spreads round over there. If you go on around there, that's the Borrowdale. But we're going to climb up here today. This is the start of Cat Bells. Um, been here a few times on Cat Bells. And there's quite a few deceptive peaks, false, false summits. You think you've quite, you think you've made it, but you've not. But let's crack on. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's go for a walk. Yep. Over there in the distance, this, it's this sort of um, range here, hill range here, mountain range here, is Winlatter Forest Park, um, which um, if anybody's seen the video and remembers it, it was where I went with my friend from, from Canada when it was his wedding over here, and we went with some of his friends. Best trail centres um, I've been to in, in England, um, but I might be biased because it's actually the first one um, that, uh, I found my friend John, we, we thought we'd come up for a ride, and we'd never been here before. We arrived on the day and there was an endurance ride, a race on, um, and not really knowing what was involved in an endurance race, obviously endurance, um, we entered it because we obviously we wanted to ride the trails. Uh, it was a killer, it was great, it was a killer. I came dead last. Um, I had to be followed home by a marshal. Well, followed back to the finish by a marshal because I was dead lost. But yeah, it was a great day. It's a lovely place to ride. And I thoroughly recommend anybody who comes to this part of the Lake District to check it out. That's quite a, that's not that bad. It's a nice dry day as well. Not sure if this video does it justice. Ah, it's quite steep. I always kind of forget how steep it actually is, cat belts. Yeah, let's go for it. Currently climbing what I like to call the first of the false summits on cat belts. Um, they're not the highest summits in the Lake District by, by any stretch of the imagination, but they're just steep, short, little inclines that if you know you've not done it for a while, not used to it, then you can kind of take your breath away. On a very hot, humid day today, I think it's about 23 degrees. Um, just takes it out of you a little bit, but yeah, you get to the top here, um, thinking you've reached the summit, but then as you'll see in a second, you climb over the ridge and then there's another, the actual summit of Cat Bells. Um, it's one of the places that me and Amy come to quite regularly. Um, it's quite a special place for us really. And just down there at Keswick, there's a lovely little point. I don't know if we're gonna go that way today on this video, that we, that we normally kind of stand on, it's quite popular, um, but it means quite a lot to us. Um, it's just lovely views over Dirt Water. But yeah, um, we're gonna continue our walk now. Uh, I think because of the, the weather situation, what, what, what our plan was to do, I'll just show you, is to basically hit that ridge line over here that sort of goes around to sort of Honister and Borrowdale. We were going to follow this path round up over this mountain and around, but I think the weather's um, going to take a turn for the worst. It's getting a bit chillier now. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down this peak and then we're going to come all the way down here, hopefully, and then down uh, into sort of Little Town, which is over there, and then basically follow the road round back to where we've parked. But yeah, uh, so far so good. It's been a great walk. Let's carry on.
anyway so we're now approaching the top of that ridge i was telling you about again uh, apology if it's a bit windy again again i should need a mic but that was a bit of a, a decent climb up we decided to carry on and do the walk that we were originally going to do um because the weather is like not too bad it's just raining very lightly at the minute and it's very windy so i do apologize but the uh, the peak we're going to climb up is called dale head and then we're going to walk down back through the valley to a little town like we said so we're going to try and beat the thunderstorm which is due now according to the weather at half past two so let's crack on and see if we can get down before that comes So we're in the valley now, and um, we're heading down off the top of Dale Head, and we realise we're not had any lunch yet. And lunch is always the best part of a walk, because you get to eat something dirty. And in this case, we've got some uh, homemade cheese, onion and marmite pasties made by Amy. And although I've had one already yesterday, I can say they're pretty good. Mm. They're pretty good. So we're going to go down this valley here i'm going to follow it over the hill or i'll stay on this right side of it and then drop down in there and that's where little town should be hopefully yeah exactly um as you probably noticed i'm not one for maps or well, we're not one for maps um not that we just don't want to do them it's just we never really bring one we always tend to sort of find our own way a little bit um we're quite good like that I've got a weird JPS, as I call it, that always seems to point me in the right direction. We just like going off piste a little bit sometimes and trying routes that we've never done before. And if we see a path, we'll just, should we go down it? Yep, let's go down it, cool. We know where we've got to get back to. So yeah, pretty good at that. But it's been a great walk so far. Uh, just a, again, lovely shot up the valley. Up the top of Dale, head up there. And the rain stopped. Uh, great day today, lovely walk over Cap Hills. It's uh, a route that me and Amy do quite regularly, but we've always kind of wanted to head over to the day ahead and see what's over there. I'm glad we did that today. But a completely mixed bag of weather. Um, overcast to start off with, you get on the top and it starts uh, hammering it down. And then as we get through the valley, the, the, the sun comes down, it's blue skies. So not even a hint of a thunderstorm today, even though it's where it says on the app. Um, but yeah, great walk today. Um, probably, I'm currently at, I'd say about, nine miles but i missed out a good chunk 
um, of tracking it when I first started. So we'll probably say about nine and a half to 10 miles. So it's a pretty decent walk. Um, and it's approximately five hours worth of walking. We had a little stop for lunch. Um, but yeah, it's just a great walk today. Um, so yeah, it was really good. Lovely day for it in Lake District as always. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the bell to get notifications. Comment and share with your friends. I really do appreciate all the views and all the shares that I get. And don't forget to hit that globe to subscribe. Thank you for joining me and Amy today on this walk around Cat Bells. Cheers guys, take care, all the best. Chips, 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 chips,